Hello, and welcome to the SBTI's training on supplier engagement. This session covers module number three, securing internal buy-in. After completing this module, you will know how to, first, identify key internal stakeholders to involve in supplier engagement targets. Second, tailor your approach to account for key stakeholder priorities. And lastly, hold productive discussions with key stakeholders to secure their buy-in. Supplier engagement is a team effort requiring collaboration between several teams in addition to the sustainability team. To engage suppliers successfully, it is critical for all relevant teams to understand the targets and commit to playing their part. The stakeholders needed for supplier engagement will depend on your company's structure. You should consider the relationships, information, and skills required to effectively engage suppliers and determine which teams need to be involved. Most often, your supplier engagement effort will include sustainability and ESG teams, relevant senior leadership, sourcing and procurement teams, accounting and finance teams, product teams, and compliance and legal teams. It's critical to identify your internal stakeholders, understand their perspectives, and then define their roles and responsibilities. And it's important to do this from the start so that supplier engagement is recognized, designed, as implemented as a cross-team effort. Once you have identified your internal stakeholder groups and what role they will play, you need to understand each group's priorities and frame your supplier engagement initiative accordingly. On this page, we summarize how you can conduct this exercise for the four teams most commonly involved in supplier engagement. The first group is your sustainability and ESG team which typically drives the setting of your company's science-based targets and are primarily focused on your company's sustainability performance. To get this team's buy-in, you should show how supplier engagement targets are a leading practice in sustainability and critical to your company's sustainability agenda. The next group is your senior leaders who typically sign off on science-based targets and are focused on business performance and company reputation. To get their buy-in, you should show how supplier engagement targets create business value and improves your company's environmental credentials. Next, you have your sourcing and procurement teams who are typically the primary contact with their suppliers and are often focused on streamlining procurement processes. To get this team's buy-in, you should show that supplier engagement targets are an opportunity to enhance supplier quality, strength of relationships, and collaboration. Finally, you have your accounting and finance teams who provide procurement spend data and implement financial incentives. These teams often focus on ensuring continuity in your existing supplier agreements and can help you understand the data needed to run your supplier engagement program. To get this team's buy-in, you should exhibit clear data collection timelines for supplier data and demonstrate how this can fold into existing processes as to not disrupt existing supplier business agreements. Preparing for stakeholder discussions will increase your odds of securing buy-in. First, senior leaders should think through their engagement strategy and implementation plan before approaching the broader organization. This strategy does not, however, need to be highly detailed. A general direction is sufficient. There are a number of materials you can take to your stakeholder meetings to bring this strategy to life and drive a productive discussion. This page lists some common examples you should determine which of the materials are appropriate for your company and stakeholder groups. These materials, along with the steps outlined in this module, will increase the likelihood of securing internal buy-in and set the foundation for a successful supplier engagement program. Thank you for listening to this module on securing internal buy-in. We hope this information will help as you engage your supply chain on the decarbonization journey.